there's really a great desecration going on. Anything that's good, anything that's holy, anything that's truthful, anything that's sound, anything that underpins all of culture and society is being attacked. That can be a church or a synagogue, that can be a country, that can be the very idea that there's truth that holds all of this all together, holds all of us all together. All of that is being attacked and attacked at the same time. So it's not just a political term of the left trying to cancel someone they disagree with. Now they're not trying to cancel people who are opposed to them on the right. The left is just trying to cancel anyone that has views that build culture, build society, keep it all going. That's what the great desecration is. There's a war on truth, and you can't speak the truth at certain times if they deem it politically incorrect. This is what the desecrators intend to do. It starts at one part of society, and within short order, can spread to almost all the important things in society, and always with the desecrators. You know what the goal always is. Weaken the church, weaken our faith structures, weaken our democracy, and infect our elections. Because with political power, they can do anything they want. I think that is what the desecrators want us to think. They want us to think you should whisper, you should stay silent, because you're not allowed to speak up, because if you do, you will lose your job, you'll be kicked out of the store, you won't have your place in society. What you realize with these culture wars and this desecration, this strategy to destroy what's good and holy and truthful in society through this great desecration is there can never be a truce. You never get to declare a tie and say neither one of us is going to win on this one. They want you to be quiet. I say stop being quiet. Speak up and don't go along with this anymore. And if you are having trouble in your own life dealing with this, think about your kids and grandkids. Think about the kids down the street. If you don't stand up, who will?